So we're gonna do a something called an axial shoulder curl. So what this is, is actually just some rotation within the socket. So our shoulder joint, the glenohumeral joint, we wanna move it around. What we're trying to do here is to get some motion back. This is a great exercise for literally anybody, but specifically, if you have a shoulder issue, this, is, this one can be really adapted to you. So this one can be done at any range through your normal range of motion. We have our normal global shoulder cars, and you could do them up here, down here, up here, across. But if you have restrictions in your motion that you're working on, this is also a good exercise to get rotation, and we must have rotation for help of your shoulder. So this exercise is an easy way to get that in. So all it is is you're going to take your hand either in a fist or grab something. This is a squishy ball. You can use a tennis ball, rolled up sock, anything. All works fine. But something to give you a little bit of purchase to create tension. So if I'm going to start with a basic one, I'm going to have my arm here and you can go up and out and etc. wherever. But I'm just going to start here so you guys can see. What I'm doing is I'm trying to lock my elbow, I'm trying to keep my shoulder so I'm not hiking, and then I'm gripping this ball. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually slowly rotate my shoulder all the way, squeeze at the end, and slowly rotate all the way in. Keep that elbow locked, so we want the shoulder doing the work, not the elbow. You will get a little bit of rotation, but if you're bent, you're gonna see this stuff happening. And what we want is the whole shoulder actually rotating. From the side, if you see, taking that, creating that fist, take a breath in, trap the air in your lower abdomen. We're gonna rotate all the way out, squeezing the shoulder, trying to rotate back. Squeezing the shoulder, trying to rotate in. Now, like I said, if you have restrictions, what I would say to you is you find your end range. So if your restriction is here, back off slightly and work there. So the easiest way is to work in where you're not compensating. So I worked up here and I had a restriction. I'm actually not working the right tissues. I'm actually causing some pinch in the joint, etc. And I would tell you work all the ranges. So with our shoulder, we have flexion. So somewhere in that range, we have extension. We have abduction, which is straight out to the side. We have adduction across the body. And then we have variations of internal, external, right? And so what you could do is you could externally rotate, straighten the arm, work up there. You just work in all these different varying angles. The best thing you can do is do multiple, multiple sets of this. If your shoulder's really bad, then just keeping it within what range you have, even just down at the side, is getting some blood flow nutrition and it'll help heal your shoulder. So do four, five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 reps, and then just keep doing it throughout the day. Okay, that's axial shoulder cars.